notes. Um, <laughs> I'm actually recording on my iPhone. Uh, I tried the GoPro. I had an external mic that was complete fucking garbage. And it just, I wasn't happy with it. So I went back to my phone. Uh, I got a little doodad for the tripod and all this and that. But, uh, so let's try this video. Um, this is, uh, I went to, where'd I go? Home Depot. Sorry. <laughs> It's been a long day, but I went to Home Depot uh, last night, and I got this uh, tool pouch. I got a few other things. Uh, I'll show you those later on. But, <clears throat> so, I was to work today. Um, you know, it's a little bit easier coming up and down a roof um, with this little pouch on your hip than, you know, my tool bag. I got, like, a backpack, and it gets kind of tight, and coming up and down a lot as it gets aggravating. So, this, this worked out pretty good today. This is uh, what I ended up having in it, and I think is uh, probably the best setup for this little thing. But uh, I carry my little M12 Impact. Um, oh, well, let, let me uh, let me stop for a second because I almost forgot. Use this thing for one work day, you know, nine to five ish. Look at that. Team. That's the other side. That's how the other side looks. But, <laughs> and when it busted, I was climbing a ladder going up to a rooftop, and my drill, my little impact driver, fell out. And you see right there, it's got a pretty, let me find the camera. There it is. Pretty nasty little scuff that it got. The back, that happened. And that right there. <laughs> but uh, all it did, it probably fell from. I'd say at least 10 foot, and it popped the battery out, and I went down, pulled the battery, put the battery back in it, and it's good to go. But, uh, so, the drill's in the big pocket right here. Um, just a set of linemans. These are the Milwaukee ones. They're really nice. I like these a lot. You know, everything's red, you know. Um, now, this is the other thing I bought. And I don't know where these have been my entire life, but those cheap bullshit ones uh, don't even waste your money on them. I mean, these things aren't even that expensive now that I got to looking at. It. I think these were like 12, 15 bucks, and these are the 10 inch. And I got got some 12 inch ones too. Uh, these are usually the two main ones I use. Um, but uh, it's ridiculous that these things were so cheap and such high quality. I, I love these things. But uh, the 10s stay in the little pouch. The 12s stay in my tool bag. Uh, next, let's see. I think there's a, yeah, there's a little, little six inch, yeah, little six inch adjustable. Uh, these things work. This one's a complete piece of shit. See it, don't. It's for too long. Um, you know, 16 inch tape. Uh, the 25 is way, way too big for me. That's what she said. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to keep uh, the impacting screwdriver on the side. Uh, if this thing was any longer, I probably wouldn't have been able to carry it because it was digging. Like, let's see if you can see. It was like digging into my side right here the whole time. Uh, and well, I had it on this side where the sockets are. And it kept digging into my side, and I put it on the back side, and it was it was a lot better. The next is this, uh, it's a Klein HVAC. Let's see, HVAC 8 in 1. It's basically just got a uh, quarter inch and 5 6 sink nut driver. And it's got uh, your shredder valve tool. And it's got your... thermostat screwdriver I'm sorry um and it's got your flathead and Phillips um but the thing the bad thing about the screwdriver is uh and I guess that's your 5 sixteenths and I mean I don't know if you would use those since you have the nut driver on the other side but that's how the old six ways were but uh that uh shredder valve tool you gotta be careful cause that little shredder valve on this big ass screwdriver, you you can over torque those things so easy with this, it's ridiculous. But uh 
Anyway, if I can get it out. Is a Makita um, standard socket set, impact sockets or whatever. Come with a little chuck and a little rubber holder. Um, I think it goes from, I think it says 5 sixteenths to, yeah, 5 sixteenths to, like, but uh, these things are amazing. These things have saved me so many times. Usually, you know, it's a, us uh, HVAC guys are pretty dumb, so most of the time, this is our wrench, or one of these by like a 10 or a 12. But uh, this little impact sockets, these things are tiny. They fit in a screwdriver pocket. Uh, it's, and you know, you can use it on your impact drill, a little chuck. It's a 3 8 it, It's ridiculous how much time this right here has saved me. And I got this at uh, Home Depot during the little Christmas holiday season sale. I think I picked it up for like 10 bucks. But, uh, there's just a, uh, there's like Carpenter and Milwaukee Sharpies. These things work pretty good. Um, the, it's like a little, it's supposed to be impact rated Husky little inspection light. I only got it because it was five bucks and I needed a spare light. And then just the Milwaukee razor knife. Uh, love this thing. And there's a few other little odds and ends in here. Some electrical tape. Uh, some thermostat wire nuts, which I don't even know why I put these in here. Because we were doing, we didn't do any control wiring today. And I think it was, it was a bit in here, I think. Yep. There it is. A little uh, Phillips bit for the impact. But uh, this thing, I, the only thing I wish it had, well, one was some better stitching because that's just ridiculous. But uh, and the little chain to hook your electrical tape to that, that would have been perfect for this thing. But uh, you know, it was like ten, twelve dollars if I remember right. And so little, little Velcro flap on the back, and usually my belt's so tight I can't slide that through there anyway. And uh, it's got this little. I think this is like the like you can hang it on something with that but uh you could honestly put a little carabiner in there and hang your gloves over the top that's what i would do with it but i don't ha i didn't have an extra carabiner today so but uh that's my uh my little i don't even know what you would call it like mini tool bag that uh it just stays on my hip it's a you know grab and go bag i think that's what it would be called uh, it's pretty nice. I, I've always had the big tool bag, and you know everything seems to, everything important in a way seems to fit in here that I would need. But uh, alrighty, well I will uh, see you guys in another video.